Hello, I'm Sandy Jones. I'm a lead public health advisor in the Cancer Surveillance Branch at CDC's Division of Cancer Prevention and Control. My son Noah was just 17 years old when he was diagnosed with an aggressive brain cancer. Mr. Noah was a very active kid. He was an avid hunter, fisherman, and he wrestled from 6th through 11th grade. While he was going through treatment, Noah lost the use of his left arm and leg leaving him confined to a wheelchair. This didn't stop Noah from participating in fun activities such as senior prom, high school graduation, and just hanging out with his friends. Unfortunately, my sweet Noah passed away peacefully about two and a half years after his cancer diagnosis. This is why my work in childhood cancer is very personal to me. There are about 15,000 children younger than age 20 diagnosed with cancer each year in the United States. Timely diagnosis and treatment of cancer is critical, but there are very few resources for parents whose children are diagnosed with rare cancers. Many families are forced to make tough choices with little information. Noah had a rare childhood cancer where surgery was not an option. Without me knowing about clinical trials, my son wouldn't have lived as long as he did. One of the most powerful tools we have in preventing and treating cancer are data. However, because childhood cancer is so rare, data on cancers in children is in short supply. Findings from adult cancer research are not always helpful in learning about how to treat cancer in kids. We weren't able to see if there were any treatments that had been used for children, which may have worked more effectively for Noah. So Noah got the treatment used in adults. Right now, it can take about 18 months for cancer registries to provide data on all cancers to the CDC, 18 months. My son did not have 18 months to wait for updated data. CDC is helping develop infrastructure to collect data for childhood cancers as quickly as possible using electronic reporting of childhood, adolescent, and young adult cancers. One way that my team and I have worked on getting the data faster is by going directly to public and private laboratories to get pathology reports into the cancer record. Pathology reports provide the first definitive diagnosis of cancer for about 95% of all cancers diagnosed. We have successfully implemented secure transmission of electronic pathology, or EPATH, cancer data from laboratories to central cancer registries. This cloud-based EPATH solution was developed as part of CDC's Childhood Cancer STAR project. We have named this cloud-based solution the National Program of Cancer Registries National Oncology Rapid Ascertainment Hub, or NPCR NOAA, in honor of my son Noah. Having these data in real time can help providers get patients the right treatment at the right time and help public health programs determine how to best meet patient needs for cancer treatment and long-term care. Faster reporting of childhood cancer data can help researchers design clinical trials, share data, and help them identify pediatric patients for clinical trials sooner. That is why my colleagues and I in the cancer surveillance branch are so excited and have focused our efforts on making childhood cancer data available as quickly as possible. I wear this dragonfly every day because my son picked out his urn with dragonflies on it and it reminds me of my sweet Noah and it helps me be strong and helps me continue my work in childhood cancers because this disease is a tough fight for us parents and children dealing with it.